Howdy folks, this is Jackers, and this of course is Morris Goes to Oblivion, episode 58, I do believe, and we are here outside of Battlehorn Castle, near Coral, not where we left off, because, well, I kind of felt I needed to rush back and take care of something. I've been playing another character offline just for myself in Oblivion and learning some things that I didn't know in all the time that I've played up to this point. One of them is that this box over here, this lovely chest that I always thought was safe, is not actually safe. One of the guards... One of these fellows will merrily go in there and cherry pick items out of it. Not necessarily the best, not necessarily any that makes sense. I caught him stealing Nernroot from my other character. So yeah, there's that. So I spent a few moments basically moving everything from that box up into the cupboard in our remodeled bedroom. I don't trust putting things into the bedroom before you've remodeled it. Hello. But right now I've got everything stashed in here. Hopefully safe. And I did sell off a few things, get our gear repaired as well. And at the moment we're not part of the Kavach Guard. We are dressed all in steel. Just to see if we can get our endurance kicked up a little bit more. And anyway, I will turn it over now to Morris, the High Elf. Well, what a surprise. It's raining in Cyrodiil. All right, let's see here. We were on our way to something called the Dark Fissure when, well, all oblivion broke loose. So let's continue on our journey. Whether it is a good choice or not, I don't actually remember. I think it's for the Mage's Guild. And up we go. Somehow, some way. Some monkshood. Oh, I also took a moment to head back to the Praxographical Center and create a lovely new spell. Feather 100 points for 120 seconds, which should help us on those extraordinarily rare occasions when we're over encumbered. It was surprisingly cheap to make. I forgot that I was able, as I've never actually purchased feather yet, but it did come with the buoyancy spell that we were taught as part of the mage guild quest. Alright, I seem to have perhaps taken a wrong turn here. Or just a completely ill-advised path. Let's see if we can actually get up. It looks like we're about to succeed. We have found the dark fissure. Makes me want to go find that mine, but, or whatever that is, perhaps on our way out. Well, this looks charming. Let's see, we have a dwarven bow load up some iron arrows and look around an altar which actually has the effects of a container what what do we know about this place I need to find the dark fissure before the next time the shade of the revenant for heavenly lights, well, whatever. Oh, hello. Perhaps I could introduce you to my friend Dremora here. No, you just want you to talk. You will not stop us. The Order of the Black Worm will consume all in its path. 
Oh, you just wanted to take a moment to tell us that, did you? Well, I'm sure he'll be fascinated. Oh, did he just hit his own zombie? Well... Alright, let's get up here. Fire down. I let that one happen. I admit it. Dramora? Could you? Alright, we're going to have to heal here. Uh, let's do it the old-fashioned way. I picked up some heals when I was moving things around. Jamora? There we are. Get some arrows back. A handwritten note. Two lesser soul gems with no occupants and 19 gold. Alright. Uh, at this point, I suppose we could just heal. On touch. Really. Wait, it should be here. Really need to get rid of that touch. I've found evidence of necromancers creating black soul gems at the Dark Fisher Cave, as well as other altars throughout Cyrodiil. I need to get this information to Reminius Polis at the Arcane University. Well, I guess that note was more informative than I had expected, especially since we haven't read it. Alright, one more heal here. Now, let's take a quick look at our note. Handwritten note, yes. To the Anchorites, place your grand soul gems in the altar, pray for his blessing, and strike the altar with your soul trap magic. Your gems will become instruments of his divine power. I see. Well... I don't believe we have any of those. We might, though. I mean, we should test the theory. We've got greater, but not grand. Well... We can always look and see if someone else inside has them. Let's get our Dramora... back... to ready? Back into sneaky, sneaky mode. And then slip back into the cave to see what we can find. Probably death and despair, so we should press the space. Time key. Oh, hello. <gasps> Mine's more alive than yours is. I see no reason to bother the ghost. Not like the arrow will hit it anyway. Let's get this over with. Well, the Dramora has a definite sense of priority, doesn't he? Ah. All right, you know what? Along with repairs, I did take a moment to charge up Sinweaver here. Let's just deal with this fellow, shall we? There we are. Iron arrows, weak poison of burden. Yes, I think it was good we didn't give him a chance to deploy that chilling touch. Always happy to learn more. All right. Now... Rather than burn out Sinweaver here, I should be careful. How are we along in Blade? 38. Well, we've got a ways to go. Still, the bow gives us range, 
behind the Dremora, so let's go with that. Is that a ghost just floating out there? Had nothing better to do? No, no one summoned me, I just really like this cave. It's very dank, you know, quite ghosty. Sounds like a skeleton close by as well. But let's just give our Dremora something to play with while we check this chest for 16 gold. Oh, all right, we can take the Mort Flesh. Did you already do for the... No. Well, it's not going to help us, but this might. Not just a skeleton, a skeleton guardian. That's okay. Dramoras carry maces and fire. Well, part of the goal was to increase heavy armor, so, you know, that's done. Skeleton had bone meal, sure, why not? And this will hit you. Well, everyone left at the same time. Here we are, all alone at the party. It's our party, however, and we'll loot if we want to. Well, I suppose technically it's the... Necromancer's party, but... We dabble. We should be allowed to play as well. Rusty door average, and then I could release a zombie. How very, but... Hmm... Probably better to deal with it now. There we are, Dramora. We have one pick left. This is not the battle I want to fight with that pick then. Alright. Skeleton, ghost, Dramora, caskets. Hello. Ah. Come along, skeleton. There we are. Bone meal. Carrying anything interesting? Steel mace, steel shield. Well, 95 for 14, not bad. We'll grab, now I'm over encumbered because we're not wearing the Kvach Kjars. So let's try out our new Feather Spell. A little bit of healing and a little bit of Dremora. Well, he should be able to get up there, since I can't. And apparently we're quite sneaky. There we are. Ghost down. And what do we have here? Piercing floor. Anything worth looking at fine chest dark fisher cell key well we could let the zombie out won't that be fun let's get some healing here well 
I'm paying a modicum of attention. And there's a hole in the ground. Chest easy. Come along. Side to side, not up and down. There we are. Nuts. Well, can't win them all. Back to Dramora. Yes, you're very excited, aren't you? I have no luck. I have the key, though. I mean, didn't I pick up the key? Did I leave it? Up we go. I didn't think we left it, but apparently that's not the cell we're looking for. All right. Off we go then. Sorry, you're stuck. He's very sad about being stuck, though. All right, back into sneaky, sneaky mode here. Dremora? Three to one on the Dremora, but we're still in stealth. And my feather spell has worn. All right, I think we need to get back to the Kvach Kuras for now. Fire off another Dremora. No, you're supposed to die. Is your name Mr. Bond? Oh, he will. Don't worry. And you know what? I can help. Sorry, Dremora. Sorry. Yes, that doesn't work. I can just make you go home. Weak potion of sorcery by two. A steel mace. Skeleton one with bone meal. Oh, why not? One of these days I'll have to figure out alchemy. I keep saying that. The day doesn't seem to arrive. Copper, ruby, ring, 18 gold. Jade, ruby, ring, ectoplasm, 35 gold. All right, well, we did look you over, yes, yes. Excellent. Oh, healing would definitely be in order here. Sneaking, sneaking and healing. There was another passage. Maybe the key we found works down here. Headless zombie, mort flesh. Mort flesh is two pounds a piece, so we'll leave that. Opened with our key, so this is what that went to. And Dremora deployed. And he is going after the skeleton. It looks like the necromancer may have fallen in the pit or something. He's back out. Dremora should be back after him, or this one should be anyway. I see that. Oh, skeleton's still alive, are you? Not really. No, not really at all. Get you to pay attention to our Dremora, shall we? Eh, 
and then we'll finish you off. Excellent. Necromancer had a steel mace, potion of sorcery, major innovation, and a shock. I see he was here. Wherever here is. What's that? That is a door. This is a Dramora. Oh, really? You want to try that? Well, we're going to have to avoid the zombie. This room should be adequate for that. This may not work out well. So, let's get into our healing potions. Take two. And they can call me in the morning. Well, we got hit by something. I think we're going to want to... deal with this another way. Okay, we also need to switch back to our shield and one-handed weapon. Get some blunt damage and have a better block. There we are. All right now, let's see here. Nothing exciting on you. A steel shield that we could probably carry away. And healing, healing, healing for the high elf. All right, well, it's a room, it has stairs. No goodie boxes yet. Tap that heel one more time. Get our Dremora ready. And rise to the occasion. This is the cave of the scary trees, apparently. 23 gold. Well, we're working on it. All right. That should help her out. Poison of weariness, cold touch tone, minor innovation. Oh, hello. Have you met my friend Dremora? Blunt skill is increased. Alright. Skeleton also down. Let's get our healing ready. And take a quick look at our prime statistics just to be sure we haven't been permanently damaged. So that necromancer came from here. Athletic skill increased. Skeleton with bone meal. Oh, all right. 21 gold. Well, building back our repair costs from the Oblivion Gate, anyway. 
I did check that. There's a scary tree. All right, and back to Dremora and sneaking. And another door. There's at least one skeletal archer over there. Necromancer, perhaps, cruising around there. Conjuration skill increased. Well, that's handy. A skeever. Really, Dramora? All the danger is this way. Seriously. And the Dramora is already gone. Well, I guess we can just come down here and deal with a skeever. Rat, sorry. Forgot where I was for a moment. And let's go visit the necromancer, shall we? A Dremora. Skeleton down. Yes, you're healing. And you're healing again. That's unfortunate. Wrong way. This guy heals quite a bit too much for my taste. Let's just stop that, shall we? Let's weave some sin. Sin woven. Water walking gold trimmed shoes. That actually is very nice. Weak potion of healing, weak potion of sorcery. Dremora casually walking off into the sunset healing active chest not our problem because it's locked i was certain i'd seen a skeleton here perhaps i was wrong no not wrong there he was grab his arrows Take a quick look over this way with just another touch of healing. Quite a bit larger than I thought it was. That is not going to stop him. This, however, might. Or her. Whoever that was. And a Sin Weaver. For the win. Weak potion of sorcery. A two and a flare. And a very excited Dramora. Potion of fire shield, 23 gold. Let's see what we can find. Lockpicks. Someone told me where to get them, and I don't recall at the moment. Larger again than I thought. Skeleton. To our silver war axe.
All right. Just a little too slow with those blocks. Chest, silver longsword, brass pearl ring, 20 gold wormwood leaves. I could take it, but I would unquestionably be encumbered by it. Can't open that. Which is a rather sad turn of events. Can open this for ectoplasm and 23 gold, however. Someone's opened all the boxes. How unfortunate. A little bit of healing. A bit more Dremora. And a bit of our own help. Alright, we're going to leave his bone meal. Chest, 21 gold. This is not usable. Two necromancers, at least, that I can see. Not a good place. But maybe I can back away quickly enough to remain in concealment. Don't fight the skeletons, fool! No, this one's too shy for his first day of school. There we are. Don't bother with the skeletons. That's right. Go for the nice, squishy necromancers. No, not this time. Go on. It's okay. You're fine. You're not. There we are. Turns out I was seen this time. In that case, let's go make a difference, shall we? Oh, hello. Fortunately for us, it doesn't need a charge. Hello. Were you the ones who broke our guild cave? something. I think I might be silenced at the moment. We're not casting. Should be able to. Where did it go? Here we are. And there we go. You will not survive this, I promise. Lesser Staff of Silence. Fortify Magicka Pants? Well, we'll take your staff. Be over encumbered. That will require a quick trip to here. Get free. Now, some healing. Check the other body. I do not wish to rest on the sacrificial altar, thank you. Weak potion of severing. Damage magicka. No, thank you. Weak potion of healing, yes. Sorcery, yes. A box with contents. Mystery of Talara. Five gold. Novice retort. I don't actually know if we have one. Let's take a look at the book. 
chilling touch. Cold touch. Mystery of Talara. Illusion skill increased. All right. Nightshade and 23 gold. I do have to remember that I cannot move without this spell at the moment, so... of healing, weak potion of sorcery, just to be on the safe side, I should assign this. What's in our number one position? Headless zombie. Oh, all right, then two. Keep it going. Back to our Dramora. Chest has a silver ruby ring, 31 gold, and a lockpick. I think we're here. We can add a bit of light. Well, no way we're leaving this way. Steel shield. I suppose at the moment we can carry it. work our way to the exit. I think we've covered everything. They look like they're doors, but not really. Or at least that a door should go there. And put that down can go out of stealth interesting we couldn't sleep on this one though now was it in this room that silver sword no then I will probably not find it unless It was right here. Well, a little tiny bit of loot anyway. And then through the tunnels back this way, I believe. Thank you, door. Just follow the bodies. No. We came from where? I vaguely remember this, I think. Ah, yes, good. Good. We should be at the exit in moments. There we are. All right, well. There's the dark fisher for us. I suppose we will pick up again next time. We should pause here. We can make our way back to the mages guild and keep moving. 
So let's meet again at the Mages Guild, shall we? For the moment, I would like to say that I will turn it over to Checkers the Human. Alrighty, folks. Well, we just worked our way through the Dark Fissure, and there's the Imperial City in the distance. We will pick up again next time and head over there and talk to Reminius Paulus about what we've discovered. For the moment, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe even just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. Most of all, I would like to ask you to please, please take care.